It looks like all our problems are solved. Welcome to the Jade Chamber. Oh, great. <laughs> I have no idea what we would have done otherwise. I didn't think we'd really manage to get you here. This was a last-minute situation, and you're the one we trust the most. To put it simply, we are just looking for the right person to help. We had a very long discussion about it, but to no avail. I have tasked my three most trusted secretaries with overseeing an important auction tomorrow. This, however, leaves their regular duties unattended to, and the work cannot afford to go undone. The nature of their day-to-day -day work is highly sensitive and confidential, so whomever I ask to fill in needs to be someone I can trust, and who doesn't have a conflict of interest. There's no need to be quite so modest. Actually, you were the first person I thought of. I place a great deal of trust in you. And besides, we haven't thought of any other suitable candidates. To me, this work is highly sensitive and of utmost importance. Though, I'm sure you'll find it to be mundane at best. It would not surprise me if you can't bear the tedium or can't make the time. And yet, despite this, I thought it could do no harm to ask the question, on the off chance that you are interested. As it happens, I was just having a discussion on backup plans with my secretaries before you arrived. But the outcome of that discussion was that we couldn't think of a suitable alternative. This is a good reminder that we should always have a contingency plan for everything. Anyway, this may add to the debt of gratitude I owe you. But the fact is, your arrival here has rescued what was fast becoming a rather dire situation indeed. I wouldn't worry. It's all work you'll be quite familiar with. Planning trips, gathering pertinent information, that sort of thing. All basic skills required by competent adventurers, if I'm not mistaken. If you have any questions about your work, I will answer them shortly. The administrative work Lady Ningguang touched upon just now is only one aspect. You'll also be required to cater for Lady Ningguang's basic daily needs, such as clothing and meals, and be on call for any other requests she may have. Don't be mistaken. I won't put you in a difficult position, and I will fully respect your judgment. All right. Please proceed to the office. Bai Shu will go over the work with you in more detail. Yes, Lady Ningguang. Okay, let's go. Before I get into specifics, I want to start by giving you the big picture. As a member of the Liyue Qixing, Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. Maintaining her perfect image at all times is absolutely essential. My usual job is to be her right hand, to maintain her image, and take care of all her worries. For example, arranging her daily schedule, picking out clothes for her, dressing her, applying her... Uh, <clears throat> you misunderstand me. I am simply trying to impress upon you the sheer importance of the work you will be undertaking. Baisha has always been very passionate about her work. I can leave any task in her capable hands and rest assured that her performance will be nothing short of exemplary. I'm sure she was simply trying to share some of her enthusiasm, in the hopes that you may find it infectious. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Back to the topic at hand. Let's get into the details. Bai Xiao and Bai Wen handle tasks that require enormous experience, while I'm mainly responsible for organizing her daily schedule and making sure she is well fed, dressed for any occasion, and that all her needs are met. I can go through the methods I use and give you some pointers based on my experience to ensure that you are fully equipped to perform your duties. All in a day's work for the traveler, hmm? Great, then I'll skip that and just get to the handover of duties. Currently, there are 133 items that have yet to be scheduled, 17 of which are high importance, and... Yes, I did try to make a start in advance, but only got as far as roughly prioritizing the tasks before I ran out of time. I'll go through the most important items with you in more detail. If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to stop me with questions at any point. First is the periodic meeting with the representatives of the eight trades. After that, fielding opinions on revisions to the current tax legislation. Then a discussion with Lady Kuching on issues relating to time restrictions on land conveyance deals. Following that, there's a Q&A session with all the major commerce guilds. Right after that, there's... Yes, you do. 
To the uninitiated, scheduling may sound like a simple process of matching tasks to time slots, but there is actually far more to it than that. You need to take travel time into account, along with a whole spectrum of potential issues that can arise. Ample knowledge of all outside factors that may weigh upon your plan A is essential to devise a workable contingency plan. I assume this is all making sense. Unless you had any other questions at this point? Good. Then let's press on. We're tight on time here, and there's a lot to get through. And we still need to leave enough time for you to prepare Lady Ningguang's schedule. Already? Wow. You're a fast learner. Very good. This will be much more efficient. Wonderful. Then I'll be counting on you to provide my schedule for tomorrow. I'm grateful for your assistance. Now, I will leave you here in peace to proceed with your work. I still have a few items from today's schedules that need addressing. If anything else is unclear, you can ask by sure. Take care, Lady Mingguang. Um, don't you think that this schedule is a bit of a light load? Yeah, that's true. Lady Ningguang has a lot of work to attend to, and frankly, she doesn't have many opportunities to rest. We do sometimes worry about her health, but her attitude is very Mora-driven. If by taking a break there's a chance she'll lose Mora, she'll never agree to it. Huh. I see where you're coming from. Yes, you have a point. Alright then, let's go with your plan. I'm sure Lady Ningguang has plenty she wants to talk about with you. There's a lot of things that need doing over at the auction venue, so I will be leaving you now. I hope so too. You must be exhausted. Make sure you get an early night tonight. Yes, I'm already awake. I'll be out in a moment. I'm just changing. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Oh, how strange. Me too. I'm joking, of course. I slept like a baby. Sorry to disappoint you. So, what's item one on today's schedule? Hmm. I imagine this must have taken Baishir completely by surprise. Sure, there's no harm in changing my schedule around once in a while. My schedule is usually very tightly packed, and any extra time I can squeeze out is spent on preparing for the future. So, it'll be quite nice to take a break. I don't often feel tired. Seeing the Mora come in has a way of making me feel... quite invigorated. Still, your idea is very sensible. Mora can only lift a weary spirit. It cannot alleviate physical fatigue. So then, the days ahead of us... Any ideas on how to spend it? Something I never have time for... Ah, have you played the chess game I made? Or heard of it, perhaps? It's called Liyue Millennial, based on classic chess, but with different rules. When I was designing it, I wanted it not only to be a fun game, but also to capture Leo's culture in a unique way. So I introduced a lot of concepts that aren't part of traditional chess, as well as different chess pieces and even boards. I'm constantly revising and expanding it. So far, there are over 30 editions. True. That's one reason why it's been difficult to catch on. But I don't feel that making it easier to learn is necessarily a good thing. Isn't one of the joys of playing chess to continually learn and progress through a complex set of rules? I think the key will be to make something that easily catches the attention of people who haven't played much chess before. I'm planning to make a new set with the board and pieces based on the battle for Liyue. One side will play the Guardians of Liyue Harbor. The other side will play the Fatui and Osile. No problem. I will let you try it out as soon as I finish the prototype. I want to make each of the chess pieces of Leo a Millennial as true to life as possible. And no Guardians of Leo a chess set would be complete without you, would it? I am indeed. Many of them, in fact. 
My thinking was that only people who pre-order the chess set at full price will be eligible to receive the limited edition Traveler chess piece. It seems only fitting for someone of your status. <laughs> Naturally, since you are the face of that historic event. I intend to make chess pieces for everyone who was involved that day, including myself. Everyone who owns this chess set will preserve this moment in history in a vivid and compelling form. Then it's decided. Come with me. To make this chess piece, I need to take some measurements. Oh, Lady Ningguang and the Traveler. You already know each other? Oh, I think it goes a little deeper than that. I don't teach my hard-earned skills to just anyone, you know. There's a word for people like you, who are warm one minute and cold the next. Fickle. You seem to be in a good mood today. As ever, there's nothing special about today, but seeing you two has definitely perked me up. All jokes aside, how can I be of service today? Remember the custom chess pieces I told you about? I'd like you to take her measurements today. Whatever business I'm in, I am first and foremost a woman of many talents. Don't you remember when I taught you how to make perfume? There was no porcelain involved in that. As it happens, I am a skilled tailor as well. <laughs> what can I say? I'm in the prime of my youth and I love all beautiful things. Is that so strange? Ying R is every bit as proficient as any of the top tailors in the land. I've availed myself of her services many times before. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just realizing that the Traveler only thinks I'm good at one thing. I see how it is. In which case, you'll find all the tools you could need in the room. Please, help yourselves. I'll stay outside and mind my own porcelain business, as you quite rightly suggested. Huh? What are you expecting me to do here? Oh, I think the Traveler is the one you should be asking about that. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's hard not to tease when you're both so well matched. Come on then, step inside and I'll examine your body from tip to toe. <laughs> Oh, if I hear any strange new rumors after this, you will be my number one suspect. Rumors about the Traveler or the chess piece? Either. Both are confidential. Don't worry, I know where the line is. I'd never take a joke too far. Secrets are only fun when they're kept secret. Just enough with the ambiguous phrasing, okay? You'll give people the wrong idea. Ugh, forget it. Let's just go. You're always welcome at Scent of Spring. Come again, anytime. <sighs> I slightly regret bringing you here. It doesn't bother me. I just hope she didn't make you feel too awkward. Now that your measurements are taken, Let's go to Mingxing Jewelry and put an order in. Hello, Lady Ningguang. What can I do for you today? That chess piece I told you about? We can start work now. I have the traveler's measurements here. Okay, let me just double check. Mm -hmm. Looks good. This has all the measurements we need. I'll pass them on to the craftsmen shortly. Good. And as agreed, please use top-grade materials only. Of course, we are professionals, and we will do everything we can to deliver the high standard you expect. Although, uh, speaking to you as a friend, I have to tell you that the sale price you indicated won't even cover the cost of production. I don't mean just the material costs, either. Waiting around for top quality materials drags out the production time and also reduces the total quantity we can produce. That's okay. This one is not for profit. 
With every previous set, there's always been some degree of commercial or marketing considerations to bear in mind. To that point, as you know, the prototype of the Jade Chamber chess piece has been in the works for a long time, but I haven't once followed up on the progress. Yes, and just like your piece, the Jade Chamber piece will be scaled for the game. Yes, it's a challenging project, but also, not-for-profit is really not something I ever expected from Lady Ningguang. How do I put it? It just seems... out of character. In business, everything comes down to profits versus losses. You have to keep a cool head and make rational judgments. In other words, you must be shrewd. But shrewdness is easily perceived as cynicism in the eyes of others. People come to think of you as someone who cares only about money and not people. Hardly the worst thing in the world, of course. But it has caused obstacles for me in the past. Well, for example, I once had a case where someone backed out of a deal with me to sell to someone else. We were both offering the exact same terms. It was simply because they didn't like me very much. Another case is where I offered distinctly more competitive terms in an investment, and this ended up arousing their suspicion. That Ningguang, they thought, she must be up to something. We can't let her get away with it. I see. But these problems disappeared all but completely after the battle against Osile. Why? Because the whole of Leo witnessed me destroying my Jade Chamber. At least, that's the most reasonable explanation I can think of. Oh, I get it. You're saying that back when you sacrificed the Jade Chamber, you gained everyone's respect in return. You're not seeking to make a profit from these chess pieces because what you're commemorating is your personal contribution to Liyue Harbor. It was the deal of the century. And as long as you keep capitalizing on it, business will be plain sailing for you in the future. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Very to the point. Truly a brilliant strategy, Lady Ningguang. You really are a business mastermind. Now I understand why this set needs to be so perfect and why it's okay that it doesn't turn a profit. It will be a lot of work, and I'm most grateful to you. Make sure the Traveler's piece is exactly how she wants it. We can't go letting her down. Don't you worry. We'll put our all into it. Well, that's that then. Let's head back to the Jade Chamber. There's something I want to discuss with you. I have a question for you, and I'd like to hear your honest opinion. And I, in turn, will tell you how I really think. When we were at Mingxing Jewelry, I admitted that my decision to sacrifice the Jade Chamber was a calculated one. I had already considered what I stood to lose and to gain. When you heard that, did it make you think that maybe I really was a cynical profit chaser after all? Thank you. Yes. You see things the way they are, however they may appear on the surface. I was lying to Xingxi. My decision to destroy the Jade Chamber was nowhere near as thought through as I made it out to be. I just thought we should do what needed to be done, and this was a decision that only I could make. Afterwards, I consoled myself by reasoning that all my wealth comes from Leo Harbor. So, to lose Leo Harbor is to lose everything. In that sense, giving up the Jade Chamber would be a profitable investment in the long term. But... It just didn't work. I was grief-stricken. Like a huge part of my heart was suddenly missing. Because I had just severed ties with a lifelong companion. I stared out at the sea for goodness knows how long. I just couldn't let it go. I just couldn't. There was no way I could console myself. So why bother trying? But as time went by, I received so many thank you gifts and letters from people. Everyone was describing how they now saw me in a new light, how I'd become an inspiration to them. I gave up the Jade Chamber without a moment's hesitation, and I did it for the sake of Leo Harbor. And now, 
People are inspired to follow my example, to tackle their life challenges with the same unswerving determination. All of this was so encouraging to hear. It made me feel that my dear old companion's sacrifice was not in vain. Because, to most people, the idea that Lady Ningguang is someone who battles with grief and struggles to let go of the past is probably the furthest thing from the truth that they could imagine. This is one aspect of the truth that I can share only with you. The fact that... I can't always be as strong as everyone thinks I am. Thank you for your comforting words. It feels good even just to be able to talk about it. I'm sorry that you have to see me in this state, but look where I am now, standing on the deck of the Jade Chamber once more, taking in the view. It must be fate's reward to me, and if I end up having to do it all over again in the future, I will not hesitate to make the same decision again.